dear students in this session we will give a mathematical solution to steady state by definition steady state quantity of capital is determined by the condition that delta k is equal to zero that is delta k by l is equal to zero steady state is defined as the point where change in the capital labor ratio is zero to see the steady state quantity of k by l and y by l that is to see what is the steady state value of k by l and y by l we use a specific mathematical form together with the, the fundamental equation we have derived in the previous classes the specific form which we use is the cobb douglas production function y is equal to a k raised to alpha along with the, the fundamental equation delta k is equal to s of k minus lambda k s of k minus lambda k and uh, this when this specific form is incorporated it becomes delta k is equal to s into a k raised to alpha minus lambda k because fk is equal to a k raised to alpha as we have derived early now in the steady state delta k is equal to zero means zero is equal to s a k raised to alpha minus lambda k zero is equal to a k raised to alpha since uh, in the steady state we give the values of k by l as s a k star alpha minus lambda k star to specify that these are the steady state values of k by l it follows that s into a k star alpha is equal to lambda k star in the steady state s a k star alpha is equal to lambda k star now it follows that s a by lambda is equal to s a by lambda is equal to k star alpha k star alpha by k star k star alpha by k sorry k star by k star by k star alpha s a by lambda is equal to k star by k star alpha can be written as equal to can be written as equal to k star into 1 minus alpha s into a by lambda is equal to k star raised to 1 minus alpha now it follows that k star is equal to s a by lambda raised to 1 by 1 minus alpha k star is equal to s a by lambda into 1 by 1 minus alpha so the steady state steady state capital labor ratio depends on s a and lambda if a and lambda are constant a is a measure of productivity which we will discuss later 
lambda is also assumed to be constant. Steady state capital labor ratio depends on the saving rate. So as and as you can see, as saving rate increases, steady state capital labor ratio also increases. Now substituting this value in the production function, you have y star is equal to is equal to a y is equal to y star is equal to a a uh, k star raised to alpha is equal to a into what is k star s a by lambda raised to 1 by 1 minus alpha and uh, solving this you will get y star as equal to a raised to 1 by 1 plus alpha 1 by 1 minus alpha into s by lambda solving this you will get this is y star e, that is the steady state output per head is equal to a into s a by lambda raised to 1 by 1 minus alpha sorry there is one more right yes sir yeah 1 by 1 minus alpha raised to alpha as you can see because the quantity is this is equal to a raised to 1 by 1 minus alpha s by lambda raised to alpha by 1 minus alpha so this is the equilibrium steady state output per head and this is the equilibrium steady state capital per head. As you can see from these results, it is clear that steady state capital per head and also steady state output per head depends on S A and lambda. Assuming that A and lambda are constant, if uh, S increases steady state capital per head and also st steady state output per head increases. Now, this is a mathematical solution to steady state. Now, the fundamental equation delta K is equal to S of K minus lambda K can also be derived mathematically. Let us see how. Now, the fundamental equation delta k is equal to s of k minus lambda k can be derived by differentiating differentiating k by l with respect to time. That is by analyzing what happens to capital labor ratio over time what happens to k by l ratio over time. So, differentiate k by l with respect to t. This is equal to l into dk by dt minus k into dl by dt divided by l square. And we assume in the model that dl by dt is equal to 0. So, it becomes L into dk by dt by L square. L into dk by dt by L square. This can be written as L into k dot. dk by dt is k dot by L square. That is k dot by L k is capital letter k. So, k dot by l dk by dt is the rate of growth of capital over time. And as we have derived earlier, what is this k dot? This can be written as, as k dot is equal to s y minus lambda k. This we have already delta k is equal to i minus 
lambda k i is i is equal to s y s y minus lambda k by l so we have a delta k is equal to delta k is d k by l by d t is equal to s y minus lambda k by l is equal to s into y by l minus lambda into k by l lambda into k by l this is equal to s into small letter y minus lambda into k so we have delta k is equal to s y minus lambda k this is same as s into e f k minus lambda k so delta k is equal to s into e f k minus lambda k so the fundamental equation is derived by differentiating k by l with respect to t type that is just by observing what happens to k by l over time you can derive the fundamental equation dk is delta k is equal to s of k minus lambda k this is the mathematical derivation of steady state and also the mathematical derivation of the fundamental equation that is the condition for steady state in the solo model